Hello everybody, Matt Mon the Fridge Gamer here, going through how to make crossbow bolts for Tinkerer's Construct in Feed the Beast Infinity version 1.31. So this is going to, we're going to jump right into creating a crossbow bolt, then we're going to go into some modifiers for it and some fun ways to use it as well. So stick around, we'll be right with it. Okay, so the first thing to know about making crossbow bolts is that they have to be made in a tool forge. It's the only place where you can find them, and they're made of only two parts. A bolt core and a fletching. Lots of people confuse this for a tool rod. As a matter of fact, you notice if I put a tool rod in there, it just makes nothing. So, we need to make a bolt core first. Now, in order to make a bolt core, you do need to have a functional smeltery with a casting table set up. Inside the smeltery, you need to have a metal of some sort. Now, how you make this is very easy. You take your tool rod, you put it in the casting table, and then whatever material you want the blade or the uh, the actual damage end of the bolt to be made out of is what you select. So in this choice here, I have manelian and iron. We're gonna make this one out of iron, so just a wooden bolt. You pour it; it will consume exactly one ingot worth. See how I'm at 35 now. And after it hardens for a second, there we go. Now we have our wooden bolt core. Now we haven't actually turned this thing into a proper bolt yet, so let's do that real quick. There we go, just our standard wooden bolt. And we have our choices here of fletching. We're just going to use these ones here. Decent accuracy at a 100% rating. Uh, kind of heavy, but eh, we'll make it work. Now as soon as those are made, you'll notice that we have access to them. Now this bolt here does one damage because I poured iron on it. If I poured manelian, this would do two damage. But the damage of this is actually multiplied directly by the arrow speed of this. So since this thing has an arrow speed of 4.5, Combine that with the iron bolt of one heart, it does 4.5 hearts of damage. So, let's load up our crossbow. Your crossbow will automatically load with the bolt that is in the bottom leftmost corner, and then proceed from there until they're all empty. Now you can switch them by just simply putting the next one, uh, the next best one in line. You can see which bolt the crossbow is currently using because it'll be highlighted. If you want to unload a bolt, you hold shift and right click, and it will unload the bolt from the crossbow. And you'll notice it actually replenished the ammo as well. These bolts here having 100% accuracy landed right there because they're really, really heavy. As you can see, it lands in exactly the same spot every time. 100% accuracy means no deviation. Let's say we don't want to make some chump bolts. Let's make some real bolts. So in my inventory here, I have choices of core left of manelian, cobalt, and alumite. Now, fun fact for you, crossbow bolts actually do have armor penetration which a lot of other tools do not. And the harder the bolt core is, the actual like tool rod that you use, the more armor penetration it's going to have. So in this case here, we're going to use cobalt. As like I said, we're going to be making some very, very strong tools. We're going to make the tip of it out of manelian. Yet again. Only uses one ingot, and boom. We have our cobalt bolt. Now if we go and turn this thing here into a proper bolt. Um, now, the fletching has a big deal with what, uh, with a lot of the stats. You'll notice this one here is jagged, so the lower the ammo stack gets, the more damage each bolt is going to do. And its accuracy is 94%. Break chance of 2%, which is really low, and the durability multiplier of 1.4, which means this is an excellent, excellent piece of fletching. However, this leaf fletching has really, really poor accuracy, has 0% break chance, which is pretty good. But that durability of 2.5, and of course the feather fletchings, which only have a one times multiplier, but a very low break chance and a very high accuracy. So if we look at this, this thing has 210 shots. If we, use the if we use the regular leaf, it goes up to 525. So that's really good if you need a lot of bolts for something. <clears throat> like if you happen to have like a ridiculously fast-firing crossbow. But in our case, we want something a little bit more accurate. The durability is okay. And this will take it up to 100%. Wait, there it is, 99% accuracy, so good enough. Now, whopping two hearts of damage. Combining that with the fact that this thing here does 4.5 arrow speed means... It's going to do 9 hearts of damage. And with that 99% accuracy, put them right at the center. You notice these are a lot heavier though too. 
Crossbow bolts are much greatly are much more affected by gravity here than even arrowheads are. So it is something definitely to note, but the nice thing is that they have higher accuracy by default. Other things to note is that crossbow bolts do not crit normally. In order for a crossbow bolt to crit, a certain series of events have to occur, and it'll just it'll just happen. It's a random chance sort of crit. There's no way to make it happen. Like on a bow, you can pull it back and hold it for a second or two, Ooh, or a throwing knife, you can hold it down for a second after it, uh, after it reaches peak and it'll automatically crit. That doesn't apply to crossbow bolts. They will crit when they want to crit. So, random chance, good luck with all of that. Next we're going to get into modifiers on the crossbow bolt. In terms of modifiers, there are always a handful of really good ones that you can pick from, uh, and then some of them are kind of like, eh. My personal favorites with regards to using crossbow bolts is, of course, the ball of moss so they automatically regenerate. Really, really handy, especially for these things here, because its repair material is manilion, which is, like, expensive. Really expensive. So, adding this ball of moss onto it, it's going to make it automatically regenerate arrows over time, which is really handy, especially if you have something that fires really fast or, uh, you know, you just don't want to worry about it. So, we're going to put that right on right now. The other thing that's really interesting to add is blaze powder. Now blaze powder is going to make this thing burn. And that means that each second that a per uh, after something gets hit by this, for each second afterwards they are going to light on fire for a period of time. Which is really freaking awesome. So let's do that. Okay, and now that we have that, you'll notice that we're out of modifiers. That's right, crossbow bolts only get two modifiers by default unless you make a part out of thomium or paper. Yeah, and you're going to want to use thomium. You're really going to want to use thomium. It adds in that extra modifier slot, and it means that you can do things like adding quartz to it. We're going to, uh... Yeah, we're just going to add an extra modifier slot there, so you can see the difference that the quartz makes. And now that we've added in our extra modifier slot, we are going to add in the quartz to it. Now you'll notice that this only takes 48 quartz to get it up to max. Which is notably lower than normal. But even if you add just one piece in, you'll notice that it bumps up the damage right to 2.5 from 2. So if you want to be a little cheap, you can skimp on this and just put one piece of quartz on it. And that one piece of quartz took this from 9 hearts to 11 hearts of damage. Just like that. Let's put on the whole stack and see how ridiculous we can get this. Alright. We got it all on. We're at 48 quartz. These do 3.5 hearts of damage. Now you notice that a full stack of quartz only adds 1.5 damage on these. So... Yeah. However, it only takes 48 quartz to add to the whole stack, so that's pretty awesome. If we take these things here out now, we look at our damage. 15.5 hearts of damage. That's incredible. But, looking at numbers is all fine and dandy. Numbers are great, except for the fact that they don't really give you actual experience. These crossbow bolts have some serious drop. Usually when I make crossbow bolts, I prefer to make them a lot longer ranged. So I usually go with a lighter core, because I don't care that much about armor pen. But we made these as hard as possible. We made these as pretty much the, the alpha and omega of crossbow bolts. If something is bothering you, this crossbow bolt will make sure it's not anymore. So let's give a real test run of this, shall we? Alright, so here we have a rampaging squadron of enemies. You see that bolt there didn't quite kill him, but whatever. There's lots more left. These bolts laying them on fire are doing great jobs. Now, it should be noted here that heavier bolts do actually hold their damage longer. Crossbow bolts lose their damage, or at least lighter ones do, the longer they're traveling. Now, in the last update, they did modify how crossbows work, unfortunately. It's no longer a direct multiplier. Sort of. These crossbow bolts are doing about 7 hearts of damage, I think. Yep. I hate that meow. However, the quartz adds just flat damage. So I'm adding just a flat 1.5 damage onto the end of this. You 
I see he's on fire here and just slowly dying out. Crossbow bolts also do not deal melee damage. Pook. And we're just about finished up here. As you can see, those are pretty awesome. Oh wow, you're alive still? No, you're not. There we go. And with that, that about concludes what it is that we're doing here. And that finishes up what we were going to talk about today with regards to crossbow bolts. Now these things are effective, they are very, very brutal, and remember that the higher the arrow speed you have, the more damage that it's going to do. Since you can preload your shots into your crossbow, don't be worried about really, really high draw speeds. You can kind of use a crossbow just kind of like a, a, a first shot when you're on your way into battle. I'm pretty effective that way, and you can make some pretty decent snipers and stuff like that out of them too. So thanks for watching, this is Batman out. Deuces.